Hey, hey, Walt. Hey, you asleep? You said you'd join me for this last Halloween video. It's the last one of the season. Remember all that? We talked about it. You gonna get up or what? Hey. Oh my God, Jesus. Hey, uh, it's me, Charlie from Brave New Weird. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope I didn't freak you out there and scare you a little bit too much. I'm back. We've got one last Halloween video for the season this year. Uh, it's taken me a lot of effort to feel the motivation. Life's been weird lately, you know? I think a lot of us are feeling that. And um, you know what? I dug deep and I said, the art will not suffer for the crap that makes no sense yeah i was like i'm gonna do this because i enjoy this and the things that bring me down i do not enjoy so why should i not do the thing that i enjoy right right i'm back today and i'm talking about ben cooper masks i'm a huge fan of these items uh didn't do any research at all on this before this video just turned on the camera and that's what kind of uh journalism i bring you on this channel. I did look up that Ben Cooper started uh, in the 30s and uh, as Johnny Carson would say, I did not know that. I had no idea that it went back that far. I thought this was like maybe 60s, 70s when Ben Cooper started. And if you don't know what these are, um, I'm sure you do. You may just not know them by name. These are the plastic Halloween masks paired with the plastic aprons that everyone wore apparently from the 30s through the 80s it was that long what is that 60 years 50 years 50 years of ben cooper mask and that's pretty cool but you know what i started thinking about these and i've been digging around online and looking at them and there are so many of these and they are so many weird weird ones that I'm just like, what is this? Uh, I love them all, don't get me wrong. I love these, um, every single one from top to bottom. Every Ben Cooper mask, uh, I feel something for deep in my soul. But some of them are just weird. And that's what I'm gonna talk to you about today. I'm gonna go through the 10, I'm going through the top 10 weirdest Ben Cooper masks for Halloween season 2024. Let's get started. I have nothing really to say about these other than to show you. I ranked these the best I could from like least weird to weirdest. And the least weird of the 10, I think, is this one. This is the Alien Xenomorph mask. And this came out in the 70s uh, when the movie came out. And it's weird. To me, it looks like a, a skeleton put a beard on. Like, a skeleton like had a job interview or maybe uh, wanted to rob a bank the, the whole like whoosh thing is gone so like this aspect is gone of the xenomorph so it just looks odd to me that's number 10 the alien xenomorph next up number nine is marvel's the thing this is the thing from the fantastic four that thing not the other thing. This one is weird because uh, it looks like uh, old Ben Grimm caught Alicia Masters getting hot and heavy with the Human Torch. Um, it's, a, it's a look of shock. It's a look of uh, amazement. Uh, my cat makes this face a lot actually. It's uh, just kind of like a always with my cat. That's why I think this one is weird. It's actually a pretty cool mask and I would love to have it, but uh, I need a 10. So. Next up, we've got the only female mask in the list. Uh, there just wasn't a lot of these, and all the all the all the women masks were just pretty normal looking. And so this one is Genie from I Dream of Genie. Uh, I chose this because this looks exactly like Joan Rivers to me, and that's really the extent of it. Got some weird earrings on there too, but uh, other than that, it's a pretty. Uh, it's a pretty normal mask, just looks like Joan Rivers when it's supposed to be uh, Genie from My Dream of Genie. And I was more of a Bewitched fan anyway, so moving on. Next up we have 
what I like to refer to as Lips Manless Frankenstein. Oh, not the bath, big boy, not the bath. This is a, a yellow Frankenstein for some reason that has giant lips. It uh, sort of reminds me of a lot of the actresses when they turn 50. It's weird, man. Why the lips so big? That's the question. Other than that, it's really freaking cool and I'd love to have this one too. Please someone give me this Lips Manless Frankenstein mask. Okay, next up we've got number six and this is uh, head hair for beard hair guy. It's all there in the name. This guy's bald, but they took the hair that they should have used on his head and put it on his beard and it's weird. Moving on. Number five is what I call Batface. Uh, it's not Batman and it's not Dracula. It's Batface. Uh, it's basically if a vampire got in a convertible and uh, flew into a bat and it stuck to his face. He's even pretty surprised about it. Uh, I feel like there should be some like bat goo also on there, uh, but that's Batface. Okay, we've got number four now. This one is a familiar uh, character to you all. This is R2-D2 from Star Wars. Now, this one is cool, uh, but it's weird because it looks like if R2 uh, tried to be a Mandalorian or something, like it's like the whole R2 body made into a face, and then there's like eyes and a nose and it's weird it's number four we are in the home stretch now everybody uh coming up on number three we have one i thought was very odd and i learned something about this one too uh this is uh spider-man but this predates apparently the spider-man that we all know this was uh prior to the 60s stanley and ditko spider-man this is just a random guy with a spider web on his face and uh, I like to think you could also uh, double this costume as doily man because it looks a little bit like a doily. It's also very strange to me that some of the uh, those webs on the costume and the, like some of the other stuff kind of like did Ditko see this and rip it off or Spider-Man? Who knows? But it's weird. It's number three. Number two is one that I would absolutely love to own. It is probably, honestly, it should have been number one. It's the weirdest of the bunch. Uh, I'm calling it Snake Face. Here it is. Uh, I can only find one image. I have no idea if this is even a Ben Cooper mask. I don't honestly care. I did zero research. These are plastic masks. They're weird. They fit the criteria. This one's a snake that's like all coiled up and I don't know if it's like your face is a snake or if you're being murdered by a snake. I think either would work but all I really know is your nose is the snake rattle and that's odd. Okay drum roll please everybody. We're at number one on the top 10 weirdest Ben Cooper Halloween masks. These are coming from the 30s through the 80s. And we're at number one. And this one by far is the weirdest to me. This is Bo Duke from the Dukes of Hazard TV show, otherwise known as could be anyone, man. This is a very uh, extremely nondescript mask that could be anyone. It could be uh, your Uncle Larry. It could be Pharmacist Joe. It could be anyone. And that's why it's so weird. It's just a guy with blonde hair and no discernible features at all. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this really uh, stupid list I threw together. I needed that last Halloween video and I got it, technically. Um, I hope everyone has a great Halloween. It's almost here. I think I'm putting this up on my birthday, I want to say, maybe the day before my birthday. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about Halloween. Um, and that's about it right now. I'm not too excited about uh, much else, if I'm honest, and not gonna get into that, but have a great one, everybody. Go trick-or-treating, go uh, Halloween caroling, go sing some uh, Monster Mash at someone's window. That would be cool, right? All right, see you all in the next video, everybody. Bye-bye. Hey, Walt, you still asleep, man? I did the video, I'm finished with the whole thing.
You didn't help me with any of it. What's your deal, man? Hey, you okay? I'm sleeping a while. You okay, man? Hey, you. What? What? Happy Halloween, everybody!